Hey, welcome to Mini Beginner's Crash Course. My name is Lisa Jung, and I'm a developer advocate at Elastic. This is a series of short videos for developers who want to get started with Elasticsearch and Kibana. In season two, we're building a full stack JavaScript app that could search for data stored in Elasticsearch. In the previous episode, we built a server using Node.js with Express. To build our project, we need to connect our server to Elasticsearch. Now, there are multiple options for accessing Elasticsearch, and one option is through the Elastic Cloud. Elastic Cloud handles the heavy lifting of provisioning the host, managing security, data, and much more with just a few clicks on the UI. And I find that for beginners, it's easier and faster to get started with Elastic Cloud. The first step in this journey is to create an Elastic Cloud deployment, and I'll be showing you how to do that today. Now you can get a free 30 day trial for Elastic Cloud. There's no credit card required and the trial will expire on its own. And the link to the trial page is included in the description of this video. Now, when you click on the link, you'll see this free trial page. Click on the start free trial option. It'll prompt you to enter your email and password to create an account. Next, click on the start your free trial option then it'll prompt you to create your first deployment. Now you can name your deployment to whatever it makes sense to you. I named my mini beginners crash course to Elasticsearch and Kibana. Then click on the edit settings option. Now it'll display a menu to configure your deployment settings. First, you'll choose the cloud provider of your choice. So let's say you have an app and you want to connect it to Elasticsearch. But if your app is running on Google Cloud, you don't want Elasticsearch running a different cloud provider because that'll cause latency issues. But for what we're about to do, it doesn't matter which one you choose, just select one. Afterwards, select the region closest to you. Then select your hardware profile. So Elasticsearch offers several deployment templates for different use cases and workload. Each template selects the appropriate cloud hardware configuration for different needs. But if you're just getting started or don't quite know your needs yet, then go with a storage optimized option. Then select the latest version of the Elastic Stack, which at the moment is 8.3.3. Once you have configured your setting, click on the create deployment option. Now creating the deployment should take about five minutes. Meanwhile, it'll display the deployment credentials. We'll be using these to connect our server to Elastic Cloud. So download these credentials as these are only shown once. Now, once your deployment is ready, click on the continue option, then click on the explore on my own option which will take you to the Kibana homepage. All right, we just created an Elastic Cloud deployment. Next, we'll securely connect our Node.js server to Elastic Cloud. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.